Where the fuck am I? Wait a minute. Pam! I'm going to the roof for what? Where am I? Hi, kitty cat! Okay, so... Oh. Am I supposed to follow you, little one? I'm back to where I started before I made the plan. That same necklace that's supposed to kill me. Where am I? Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table, let us go, through certain half-deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels. And sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Oh, why are you reading me streets a poem? Like a tedious argument. This is not no Cafe intent, Java shit. To lead you to an overwhelming question. Is this where I go to heaven? Oh, do not ask, what is it? Okay, I won't. Let us go and make our visit. I'm not gonna lie, this poem is fire, though. Question is, Johnny's, Johnny's been silent the whole time. I really want to know what he's thinking. He's probably talking so much shit, saying, Damn, you really fucked up. But no, honestly, I just want to see Johnny one last time. Johnny? <gasps> oh my god, it's Johnny. My man. Hey, Johnny. How packed you wash out? Got your one-way ticket. This funny to you? You know, discovered one nice thing about becoming Johnny Silverhand. You stop giving the slimmest shit about Johnny Silverhand. That right. This mean you've already decided what comes next? It's as if he actually doesn't want to leave. Is he upset that I actually want to leave? That I actually want to get out? Want a word with Alt first. Where is the wench? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Oh, shit. You real? You hit me with Soul Killer? That asking? It was the only way I could fulfill your request. Jesus, fuck. I'd have liked a warning at least. Been a construct for just a few minutes, and already no one gives a damn what you want. Welcome to the club, V. You still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gonna burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me. Exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer her psyche back into her brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. <gasps> I... Could. So that's really it. 
We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. What happened? Alt. What do you mean? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. Okay. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons. Chris, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Had this planned all along, didn't you? Never had any intention of keeping me alive. Is that a fucking joke? You backstabbing motherfucker. You just fucking kicked back dumbass grin on your face and waited till I finally realized you had me fucked from the start. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Alt, question. Will the body reject Johnny's construct? No. They are compatible. The body is his. That's enough, Alt. B and I need him. Everything, all, all, all we did, it was pointless. I have had enough of this, of everything. You most of all. Perfect, because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping the body. Where's she even going to take you? Beyond the Black Wall, to become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. Could be the flames of hell. Heaven's grace. Might also be an ingram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still crawls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, but so is denial. What's it like beyond the Black Wall? Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just until we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. Uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? No hope. Wrong city. Wrong Oh people. man, this is not... He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Alt. If you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What does that mean for me, exactly? Am I gonna... become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the Black Wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it. To you. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. So, basically the whole time, even though I did all that I could to try and save myself, I was destined to die. So all the other choices that I made throughout this series meant shit. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to meet my end, but you know what? I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. But... But I can't do it. I'm sorry.
You know what? Fuck it. Cross the bridge and enter cyberspace forever? Or into the well to return to your body? Fuck it. For fuck's sake, defend yourself! You're not even trying! You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. Hmm. Mo, it was... It was nice seeing you again, Johnny. I'm gonna miss you. Fuck it. Goodbye, me. And never stop fighting. What the fuck? Oh my god, we're outside. No one's here though. Pam. Huh. Pam. Why'd you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turning sentimental on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help... <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get them with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Gotta say, I didn't expect things to end this way. Do you mean Mikoshi? Yeah. Uh-huh. Night City. Did you think you would stay forever? Mm-hmm. A couple of months ago, no way I'd have said I'd leave NC. Would have staked my life on it. A wager I'd have lost if I'd taken it. Yet, yeah, here we are, on the road. Not sure I'd have found the courage without you. Thanks. Oh, stop. And you'd best say your goodbye to this view. You won't see the city again. The quicker I forget the whole damn thing, the better. The city makes false promises. Many of them grand, doesn't it? <sighs> See through them before you lose everything, then. You're pretty damn lucky. Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. Think it is. Think we are. Time to make up for things. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. It's cause I'm dying, Pam. I'm fucking dying. I'm gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Fix drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Nice. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V? Yeah? Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. First of all, where's Judy in all this? All night, city. Good night and good luck. I gotta call my girlfriend, honestly. Where the fuck is my girl? 
because I'll be like, yo, baby, let's leave. Judy. Is Judy not calling? Okay. Huh. All right, let's go, I guess. Let's go. Rowdy. We actually fucking did it. I survived, you survived. This is rot. I've heard enough. I can't believe Judy didn't answer my call. Then again, does she think I'm dead or something? I really hope not. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. Cool. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Nice. Okay. I see you. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. I think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyways, things will be different now. Gotta be. This is a beautiful sunset. I got met. But why do I have a feeling this is not there the There is end? one thing I will miss about Night City. Yeah? What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. <clears throat> Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Okay. Really? <laughs> then I can't wait. Of course our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Of that I have no doubt. Doesn't matter. Gonna be a good life. I can feel it. And you'll sense it too. So we're actually leaving this city. Holy shit, we're actually leaving. I'm just concerned at the fact that I'm not able to reach out to Judy at all, like... Because if I'm leaving Night City, I want to take my girlfriend with me. I'm not going to leave her behind. Pan Am. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Damn. Or that storm will catch you. Damn. Screw you. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. Shit. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See Me you too. Soon. Me too. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm. Getting close. Can't believe I'm with my new family, the Aldecados. And I'm really happy Pam survived. It sucks that Sol died, but then again. I mean, what would happen if Pam died instead? I wouldn't live with myself. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Hell yeah. I love the music, by the way. Very jazzy. Oh, Lord. The fact that we lost, like, three people. 
Mitch, my man. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laden in place? They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Wait, who? Who? Who's waiting for me? Hold on, who's waiting Rain for me? Club in You'll Chicago, back, right? ages ago. <gasps> but I didn't edit no. no, wait, 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 wait. wait. V! Just, just, Judy! You're here. <laughs> Jude, you made it! <laughs> I doubted you would come. Hey! Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. I am so happy you're here. Oh my god, I'm about to cry. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave the girls to it. Hey. Everything all right? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. I thought, any moment now I'll feel safe. Even comfy. Hey. You look so beautiful and so gorgeous. I just realized something. This is the same spot I saw that tarot card of the naked girl on that wall. And right now I'm right next to it. You'll find your place where you really belong now. Only say that because you've already found it. I say it because I know you will too. So why the hell do I feel like I'm running away? You're not running. You're getting a new beginning. It's a whole nother stage of life. Hmm. Interesting to hear you say that. You know, I used to mark time in stages. One juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase. And then the group home phase, the mox phase. Every time, I thought I found a home. And every damn time, I came away disappointed. Things will be different now, you'll see. You have me. You have me right by your side. Promise? I promise. No, don't want to promise you a thing. Okay. Don't have to. I guess you'll I don't. <laughs> we'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be all right. If I can be sure of anything now, it's that. Feel better already. Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. <sighs> yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. She's cool as hell. So, You'll love her. We going? Hell Got yeah. Got one last thing to take care of. It'll only take a sec. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. Can't believe my girl is coming with me. Yo, the fact that I survived it, bro. I survived it. I have tears in my eyes. Yet here I am. Disappointed? That remains to be seen, child. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Oh lord, okay, let me see what Mitch and Pam have in store. Need any help preparing? No, it's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right, so the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? Yeah. So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Wait, are we talking about one of those famous Aldecaldo tunnels? Mm-hmm. One of the oldest ones, this one, too. They dug through right after the first war. Aldecaldo stopped using it years ago. 
We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? Sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol, heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carolyn Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the roads like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. Nice. So even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Shit, Believe for real? On the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. Okay, let's go. All right. Good. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. Are we all set? Mm hmm. So, Jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. Say no more. This is your big new beginning. So, you have to start it like a real nomad behind the proverbial wheel. Okay. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? Got it. I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. Yippee. That's I just... best avoided. Yeah. I'm glad we're doing this. We Judy. Mm-hmm. Said goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. Almost all were sure I'd flake back out. Started a pool, you know, about me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them, <laughs> more times than they care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some eddies. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? A flight out of Night City to Bliss. Your ex? Tell me about what we do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Damn. Damn, Judy. No wonder Judy feels like she's running away. I'm gonna take care of Judy. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna take care of her. Make sure she's good. I got the avocados taking care of me too, so we're good. Ready? Been ready always. Yeah, let's go. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. Hit it. Okay. Holy shit, this storm's no fucking joke. Launch the drones. Okay. They can do whatever they want. Fuck it. Carol, Cassidy, get moving. I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They nice. Me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Go on, kids. Thank See you. you. On the other side. Bet. We're crossing the border, baby. Woo! Fuck me, man. I can't believe it. The nitro is ready. All right. Night city. It's your last chance. Hell yeah. To say. Come on, man. I'm excited. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. Start her up. Heel is yours. Let's ride. Beep beep. 
Bitches know they can't touch me. Oh fuck. Exactly what you want. A new beginning. Hell Don't yeah. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. I feel like a cowgirl just riding off into the sunset with my family, my girlfriend. We're finally we finally did it. So we outie. And that's me, that's my character. Wearing the bullet that should have killed me, but didn't. This is so trippy, man. Wow. To think I actually got a second chance. And I know Ult was like, well, if you return to your body, you're gonna die. Well, listen. I'm still gonna take the chance, because either way, I'm gonna die either through natural death or through this. Doesn't matter. I'm letting it go. Shit, I let it go. We good. We outie. We fucking did it. We accomplished the mission. I got Johnny's little virus shard off of my system. Well, it's perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Yep. life out there in the desert awesome Getting some sun some fresh air in those lungs yep don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while any dust or dirt gets into that insulation you're done oh trust me course, i'm gonna make sure a decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel so actually how about you just stop by when you're back in the city huh think i could swing a little discount for an old regular like you Thanks, Vic. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? They have, have my back. Have you lost your mind, mija? They have my Did back. Did you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Stop it. Estás loca, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. <sighs> Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid, because I'm not going to a second funeral. You won't, trust me. Weak. If you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. Gracias. <laughs> Cuídate, V. Igualmente. Hey, V. Oh, Weppa, looking good. I know good. what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? You're looking well, cute as I hell. Can't. You know me. I get mushy when it comes to sharing feelings. There's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. Looking all cute. V. I just wanted you to know that I'm happy for the first time in my life. And I wanted to speak of the devil. Please. Uh... Mm. Weppa. V. Hey. Cry 
Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. Same, bro, Back same. Back Nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, 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 I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate you. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. Hit me. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. Damn. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Aww. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Hey, V, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck, shake. Voicemail again. Carrie, my boy Carrie. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, no. ever? Seriously. Yeah. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Oh, come on, Carrie. Don't be like that, bro. What did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on a tour with them? Yeah. At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, who knows? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you if you care. Call me back when you can, okay? Bye! Bye, Carrie. B, hey. So, Rever. Wow, Couple Rever. fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. Yep. The city needs more people like you. And I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. Thanks, River. Sarah. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. Misty! I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Okay. You know what I drew? What happened? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. What does that mean? <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. You know what, Misty? I could see why Jackie loved you. And I love you too. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.